never thought it was such a bad little tree. It's not bad at all, really. Maybe it just needs a little love. You're listening to the Mike Kara Radio Program. I am the nation, proudly broadcasting from Woodridge, Illinois, USA, planet Earth. Welcome back to another edition of the Mike Kara Radio Program, Eye on the Nation. We definitely have our Eye on the Nation, as always, probably broadcasting from Woodridge, Illinois, USA, planet Earth. And my next guest is Dr. Elmo Shropshire, more known as Dr. Elmo. Of course, Dr. Elmo is a great singer, songwriter, performer, and is known for the song, Grandma Got Ran Over by a Reindeer. And of course, I'm 37 years old. I'll say that, uh, Dr. Elmo. And if you do the mathematical calculations, that was right around when I was growing up when this song premiered. So you're kind of like one of my heroes because I, I, I literally grew up with that song and i have to say that that your song grandma got ran over by a reindeer with respect to other songs is one song that never got annoying to me so i'm sure you hear that a lot where you know the song is is just timeless but we want to talk a little bit of of course of all about grandma but Tell us a little bit, Dr. Elmo, about uh, your background. You have a little interesting background that uh, you actually got into veterinary medicine and then kind of moved into the bluegrass world. But give our audience a little bit about your background. Well, I was raised in Kentucky on a, a tobacco slash horse farm, and I used to work in tobacco there. And then I started riding horses and wanted to be a jockey. But when I got too big to be a jockey... I was about 18 and grew about six inches taller. And uh, so I thought, well, I could do the next best thing and become a veterinarian. So I went to uh, I went to University of Florida and went to Auburn University to, my, uh, to do my uh, medical training. And then I became a veterinarian. And I didn't, um, and I worked on the racetrack in New York for a little while. And then I guess when I was around maybe 34, 35 years old, I got interested in music for the first time and started playing. And right away, I could tell whenever I sang songs, if I sang a serious song, people would, you know, snicker a little bit and think it was kind of funny. So I thought, well, maybe I should go with the flow and start singing funny songs so we could be laughing together. Oh, fantastic. And uh, tell our audience a little bit about, uh, you know, how you came up with the I- idea. We understand now you actually got this particular so- song was written by a friend and then you thought it would m- make a, a good so- song then? That's right. I was singing, uh, writing and singing some funny songs at the time. And uh, this friend of mine, well, he became a friend. I was up in Lake Tahoe playing at a casino and... Um, after the show, this guy came up and he said, I have this song I think would be perfect for you. And so I invited him up on stage to sing it. And he sang Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer. And immediately I thought, wow, that's a really interesting concept, you know, Grandma getting throttled at Christmas. And if nothing else, I think it would pique people's interest just to hear it. But I thought it would probably be funny for one year and then that would be the end of it. But here we are. 32 years later, and, uh, you know, the song is still, still has, like, Grandma still has legs. Exactly. So, as far as Grandma got ran over by a, a rain, reindeer, you know, it, it's kind of the quintessential Christmas song. You, you know, you mentioned that, you, you know, you started, you know, recording it, uh, you know, around 1979, 1980, but how did the song take off i mean how besides being an awesome song i mean did it kind of make its wave you know through radio stations or well it did it did it, it kind of started and stopped for a little while uh the first year it came out was 79 i was still pretty much a full-time veterinarian and i didn't have and i just made it as a gag gift for some of my friends you know i just I, 500 vinyl uh 45s was the least you could have made and i had 500 made and I gave out a few to my friends for just, you know, gag gifts for Christmas. And it didn't even occur to me to take it to a radio station. One of my friends took it to a local radio station in San Francisco. And one day I was driving to work and the disc jockey came on and he said, well, we've got this song and some people love it and some people hate it. But if we get 50 requests for it, we'll play it. So a lot of people started calling in and saying they liked it, and some other people called in and said they never wanted to hear it again. And 
And I was really interested to know what song this could be. And so after they got the 50th request, suddenly he starts playing Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer. And I couldn't believe that was the first time I ever heard myself on radio. And I was, I had all kinds of emotions. First of all, I thought, uh, how great to be on the radio. And then the next thought, I thought, I said, I sound terrible. I didn't know my voice was this bad. And, you know, all these emotions were running through me. And, I, and so at the end of that year, it was really exciting. I thought, wow, you know, that was fun, but I guess it's over now. And I didn't expect it to keep coming back every year. Fantastic, but it did. And also, uh, Dr. Elmo, we understand, of course, growing up is the music video to Grandma Got Ran Over by a Reindeer. And tell our audience a little bit about, now I understand that this was filmed actually in your living room. Was that right? Or? Yes, it was. I had a, I lived on a little ranch and, and so I decided to make this video. And, and even though we made it in my living room, it still cost a lot of money. We shot it on film, and I hired a director and someone to help produce it. So we completely uh, redid my living room and put lights in it, just like it was a television studio. And we was took a week, three, like I think two 16-hour days of shooting to make that three-minute video. And it cost almost $30,000. That was back in 1983. It was a huge amount of money then. And it was especially a huge amount of money because I hadn't sold any copies yet. They were playing it on the radio, but it wasn't in any stores to be bought because I didn't know how to distribute it. But anyway, when I finished making the video, I thought, wow, you know, I've really lost my mind now. I spent this $30,000 and, and uh, nothing's going to happen. So I sent it to MTV and didn't hear anything for a while. And then I guess around... Uh, Maybe like the end of November, they called up and said, wow, we got this video and we love it and we want to play it. And I said, who is this? And they said, this is really MTV. So uh, they started playing it. And then the following year is the first year we started getting any record distribution. I pitched to every record company between 79 and 80, 83, and they all turned me down, you know, right away. And then... So then uh, CBS Records picked it up in 1984, and um, that year, for Christmas, people had been hearing the song for, you know, for four years already, but they couldn't buy it. So in December of that year, uh, Grandma, got my, Grandma Got Run Over by Reindeer, the single and the album, was the biggest selling uh, was the biggest selling song on Epic Records. And that same year, Michael Jackson's Thriller was also on Epic Records. So for the month of December, I was the biggest seller, but not for all time. Wow, so you actually beat out Michael Jackson. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah. yeah, for a month. <laughs> I know, yeah. <laughs> and the, the people at uh, CBS, they were flabbergasted. They had no idea. No, of course, neither did I. You know, nobody knew that there were that many people who liked the song and, and were willing to buy it. Fantastic. And I always like the uh, video, Dr. Elmo, because, you know, we never we never remember. W of course, I, I'm a spoiler alert here. I'm going to give away the, the video. So if you haven't seen it, which I hope you have, you know, at the end, Grandma comes back and, and is all well and good. So, I mean, was that your intention then? Was that Grandma was not killed and she was OK? And or people take th their own interpretations of the song or. Everyone has their own interpretation. People who sort of like the Hollywood endings like to see Grandma come back, and people who may have a darker sense of humor like to think maybe she didn't come back. Exactly. And uh, now, uh, as far as, now, you were actually uh, in that uh, vi video, Dr. Elmo, yourself then? Yes, I played the part of Grandpa and Grandma. I played both parts in the video. Oh, fantastic. And another thing we also want to mention, Dr. Elma, is you mentioned that this was actually a whole uh, album, and I actually have uh, that particular album actually on a cassette tape that ages me, but I mean, this was actually part of a whole Christmas album then. Yes, it was. Well, you know, I, we was trying to get distribution for the song, 
And first we sent the singled all the record companies, and at the time they said, well, you know, we're not selling singles much these days. We need an album. So then I made a whole album of songs and tried to pitch that to CBS. And, uh, of course, they, you know, that album has done pretty well for them since. Um, actually, it was, it's gone, play, you know, went platinum a few times. Okay, Dr. Elmo, you know what? That sounds great. What we are going to do is we are going to take a break. Today, my guest is the one and only Dr. Elmo. Of course, Dr. Elmo, known for that famous and awesome song, Grandma Got Ran Over by a Reindeer. And we want to thank uh, Dr. Elmo, definitely probably one of the legends in the Christmas song business. And uh, we want to thank Dr. Elmo so much for step. I'm I'm, I'm excited. Like I mentioned at the beginning of this, Dr. Elmo is one of my all-time heroes. I I remember literally growing up in the 80s, and that song, just like A Small World, I know this is starting to sound weird, never got annoying. And for me, the passion of you know, Grandma Got Ran Over by a Reindeer always remains, and it's just iconic, and it's so great to talk to the man that created that, and a cartoon came from that, as well as uh, many a parody uh, song from uh, Grandma Got Ran Over by a Reindeer, and uh, also one thing I do want to mention is that uh, Dr. Elmo, besides having this one song, uh, has tons of Christmas songs, dozens upon dozens. He's like, have five or six uh, Christmas albums. So after this, I'm going to get purchased some of those. And uh, all of them are, you know, very similar in quality to Grandma. And it's great because there's so many other songs. So if you like Grandma Got Ran Over by a Reindeer, you're going to love all these other Christmas songs. And Dr. Elmo is definitely Mr. Christmas. And uh, he's also actually got a cruise, a uh, holiday cruise, which we'll be t- telling you about a little bit later. Again, my guest is the one and only Dr. Elmo. And you are indeed listening to the Mike Kara radio program. I on the nation we definitely have our eye on the nation as always probably broadcasting from woodridge illinois usa planet earth and besides thanking dr elmo so much for stopping by again i'm really excited i'm also equally excited that uh, you the radio listener of the mike care radio program eye on the nation could join me today and uh, join us for this simply awesome and, and legendary performer and his interview so we thank you so much and again please stay with us for our next segment of this edition of our program today.